Today we are here to review Sphinx Ormus and to give you all a continuous testimony of my Ormus experiences. With that being said, I'm holding Sphinx Ormus who comes from New Zealand. Thank you, my Kiwi friends. I'll talk all about how I found out about this product, but the energy of the product arrived before the actual Ormus came to my house. Now you're probably like, well, how did I get the energy before the product? Let's break that down. So, um, I'm a dreamer. Um, I do get a lot of spiritual messages in the dream world. Um, as I'm learning, they seem to come true or, you know, they seem to happen. Let me say not come true. So nonetheless, um, there's a component of dreaming, uh, called astral travel. So astral travel is where you, I can say, I mean, I guess that's all dreams. You constantly or, or unconsciously travel and it can be earthbound or beyond and you know people like to that's one of the ones where people really like to brag about it because they're like oh you know in my dreams i went to switzerland i uh, I skied the alps or i was in hawaii surfing you know that's really bringing together a lot of different advanced dream manipulation techniques um lucid dreaming astral travel so i say all that to say is i dream every single night um but astral travel is not something that i do often um so it really stands out when it happens so the night before, um, sleep and I normal, I wake up and I was like, oh, I went to Africa, um, during the dream world, not, uh, Africa, specifically the country of Egypt, specifically the area around the Nile river and, um, where we actually would not we. Well, I think I was with people, but nonetheless, for me, um, I saw the Sphinx, I saw the Sphinx statue. Um, you know, I was looking at it and it's crum the nose was, was crumbled off because I say all that to say it was not like, you know, you don't just travel to locations. You travel to locations at X, Y, Z time. Sometimes it can be present day. Sometimes you may go to societies during another moment of time. So for me, I knew it wasn't like, it wasn't like, oh, the Sphinx had just been built even like a hundred years ago or 200 years ago. You know, it was definitely the whole Egypt, ancient Egypt area was ruined, but I could still tell we weren't quite in modern Egypt times. Um, so I don't even, I don't even want to know, like. I would say it also was before, and this is the thing I'm no expert on, like European medieval history. I don't think we had started that whole medieval, like Catholicism, not Catholicism, the Catholic Church and Christianity had not taken over. So it was before that time, but definitely after like the, um, what are some of the other races that came in and took over? Um, definitely the Greeks, the Romans. Um, you know, so it was after that. So that's the window of time in which I actually traveled and saw the Sphinx. So, you know, I looked it up and, and I can't remember what, what the dream meant, but I thought, oh, that was just, you know, like I said, actual travel stands out for me because it's not something that I do often. So long story short, like when, um, because, you know, this came from, um, New Zealand and the way that the product was sent to me, what is it? Uh, just airmail. Airmail air mail that came through, was it DHL or was it the postal? Now that I can't remember. I can't remember if, if it was like, when I say DHL, that's like the equivalent of like a FedEx or a U, uh, US, no, UPS. Uh, but I believe it came by the post, by the, just the regular post. Uh, so <laughs> nonetheless, when I got the package and I was like, the Sphinx Ormans came on the day that I dreamed of it. So synchronicity, synchronicity right there. So what are we going to talk about for this review? Um, if y'all see me looking over here, I got a nice outline because um, I've been taking this product for the last couple of months. I had detox off of the other Ormuses. So the review today is, I'm just going to give y'all my first impressions. We'll talk a little bit more about what actually Ormus is, what it does for those who you all who may be new. Um, and just FYI, I've published, I'm going to pretend zing, I've published uh, at least two other videos. One on four, my experiences of taking Ormus over the last four, four years and a lot of different vendors that I use. And then another vendor, Noun Alchemy, I reviewed that product bundle, which includes uh, uh, one of the tinctures is Ormus. So definitely, you know, this would be is what 2023. So I would say I'm like in hitting into year like five, maybe even six of taking Ormus, and that's always um, number one when it comes to any health supplement. Let me do my D D D Y R. Do your research, um, and you know, be careful, you know, in terms of checking with your own medical team. So uh, the video outline. I'm going to give y'all my first impressions, a recap of what Ormus is, what it does. 
um, you know, just a little bit about my own testing methods, you know, overall what I think of the product, um, my long-term perspective. And, you know, one person left a comment in the prior or Ormus video about, you know, I guess I didn't really get into the year by year by year um, benefits. So I'm going to add that in to this video. Um, because, I mean, I would say really just to kind of summarize it briefly, like, one of the things I feel like Ormus, how you know your Ormus is working for you. And I mean, I'm going to say Ormus in a combination with many different things, lifestyle, this and that. But, you know, this is supplements are here to not just be taken every day because you need to take your vitamins like, you know, your parents told you. But, you know, are you seeing benefits? Are you seeing any changes from taking something, you know, near daily? So one of the things I say long term wise with Ormus is it allows your intuition to open up to the point where to me getting intuition intuitive messages or being able to discern messages that may not be right in your face like you're reading a book is being able to hear and understand subtle energy um so um i would say that to say is i think it's hard to me kind of just to go year one year two year three because i think probably it wasn't really until the ormus itself as a component of my overall spiritual awakening which once you start the spiritual awakening journey it is like it's like it's almost like it's not almost like it's lifelong so you know to me i'm gonna continue to awaken until i'm done <laughs> with with my lifetime here on this earth and then hopefully i will sin because you know that's the awakening process the ascension process so you know i feel that in conjunction with my own spiritual mature maturity taking the ormus continuing to have the spiritual awakening unfolding you know, you can now say, okay, at maybe year four and five and six, oh, the Ormus is doing this, the Ormus is doing that. I mean, you can say the Ormus is doing things. I would say definitely in the beginning, um, I guess we'll just start this recap now. Since <laughs> You know, I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's not really something I can point to each year and say this happened, that happened. Um, I think definitely, you know, almost for real, take it a year or so. Um, before, I don't think it's something you can take in a month. But like, oh, I didn't feel anything. You know, I know it's costly. I, I didn't feel anything trashy. Like I said, I feel like you need to be ready for the experience of Ormus. Um, but I would say in the beginning, definitely focus. Focus was one I always felt and increased meditation. So, you know, because you do want to, especially, you know, just like any product, uh, people sell it for this, people sell it for that. You want to make sure you're getting something decent. So I would say if you're brand new to Ormus, but you definitely are a seasoned meditator. That's why I'm just like... You know, uh, it's not for people just to pick up off the street and go. But if you're a seasoned meditator, you should be able to sense a change in your meditation practice. I sense that from the beginning. Like, you know, how long it takes you to drop in or hit that hit that theta, le theta level. Um, so that that's what I was saying. So I would kind of maybe split my Ormus experience in, in terms of, let's just say I'm at six years. Um, the three beginning and the three after. So definitely three in the beginning were... Um, I think increased spiritual experiences, meditation, that's like a physical one you can see, um, and, and focus. Like I said, I tend to take Ormus um, first thing in the morning to, to, to assist my meditation. And then, like I said, I know my, my circadian ryth rhythm for my law um, in the day. And it kind of, it's a big window because now that I kind of really work from home a lot, you know, it doesn't matter if I like crash my sleep and take a supplement too late um because you know if i'm just waking up to go to the computer it's okay so i say i'll just say that two o'clock is like my descend down and i don't come back up until six o'clock so that's like my window of i'm trying different supplements to figure out when i can take them without any impact on my sleep and i, I sleep pretty well now the only thing that literally does legit mess my sleep up is caffeine um, and it's, it's been a little bit hit, hit, hit or, hit or miss. I find that sometimes I can almost be like, you know how some people, I'll drink coffee and go straight to sleep. Sometimes green tea would, would do that. But I think if I've had too much tea in general for the day and I'm one to just throw back tea all day long, um, definitely co certain coffees. I've had certain cold brew coffees where I've been up 24 hours, too intense. Um, that's what would impact my sleep. So, um, so I just say it just a caveat because I'm not a person that's generally has sleep issues. So I don't want y'all hitting the Ormus at six to seven o'clock PM and they're like, digital shaman and say, do it. And y'all can't sleep. So just be mindful of that. Um, but okay, let's jump, uh, to the beginning of the outline, which is my first impressions. And before we do that, 
since I got to check the, the official box, you know, and keep my integrity with myself first, <laughs> with the user community, and with the overall karma clock here. Um, so this Sphinx Ormus was a gift. Um, I'm sorry if y'all see my turtle. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> y'all see my turtle being off the hook. Um, so this was a gift. And actually, uh, the company, oh, man, I should have had their, but maybe I should not put their names <laughs> names out there. But they, they reached out from my Ormus video. And don't get me wrong, in, in terms of internet, I was a little skeptical and this and that. But, you know, I don't know. I, I believe in things all things happen for a reason but you do have to be be safe so nonetheless they just reached out um you know they didn't they're not paying me for this review and i didn't ask they sent me the product for free which i thought was nice as far as being you know a new uh online person youtuber there we go um so i just want to say that up front and honestly let's just go straight to like i know y'all want to get through this whole video but i'm gonna give y'all my review right right up front and this is a 10 out of 10 i only have one piece of of critical, I mean, I'm not saying critical, um, well, whatever. One, I only have one piece of feet improvement, one area improvement, the most simplest thing. So, this is the actual, let me actually take out the product. So, this is the bag, and you know, because this it has is carrying a vibration, you know, this bag and this foil, this is all by design, and we'll get into that later. Um, and then the bottom is rose quartz. Every bag of ornaments that travels to you travels with love. Like, I thought that's, again, a nice touch. So, you know, energetically wise, and I think, too, back to, yes, you got to trust people that you meet online. But, you know, I didn't have a bad feeling when they reached out. Um, their pro their uh, product, excuse me, their product website is amazing. Like, they have a blog. All that you want to know about ornaments is on there. So, the literature was there. Um, like I said, then when the dream happened and then before I got the product, I thought that was spirit kind of saying, you know, it's okay. You don't have to worry. So, you know, when people was like, trust your intuition, sometimes you can like when the spirits just knock, knocking the dream world to say, it's all good. You listen. So my only feedback is, uh, so this is where it comes in. Um, I made this, sorry, let me get this together. There we go. Uh, blue bottle. Does it get the ounces? Oh, 200 milliliters, which is a little less than seven ounces. So the intent would be, um, so for me, I put ormus under the tongue. So it's like one teaspoon. So, I mean, you could pour it into a teaspoon, like kind of jumping ahead. Like the liquid is almost like light pink and I do not want to spill it. This ormus is amazing. Hold on. Oh, you know, I know. I'll put some in the top. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Oh, and I still don't want to spill it. Y'all can see. Yeah, it's like a light lavender. Oh, actually, let me see if I can pour it. Oh, I should get that. Woo! <gasps> no, it's dripping! Oh, Y'all, now I have almost on my computer keyboard. May it bless every single word that I write, but okay, may it also not mess up my computer keep hold on i have these my may also may not stop this recording <laughs> okay um you know what i'm picking the ormus up right off the desk not wasting that mm -mm. um okay where was i going with oh my only piece of hardcore critical stop the st halt the production line feedback is um i just wish we had a dropper that's it. So I put my own dropper. So, and, just, and that's the thing. Like, you can see. Ooh, yeah. Y'all can see I've used. Um, mm, come on, ring light. Yeah, you can see. All right, there we go. Yeah, no, not quite half. Um, so I did put a couple caps full. So I've had a bath with it. And they do tell you. So the dosage is one teaspoon. So I just do a dropper. Um, and when I do my second dosage of Ormus in the afternoon, it's always a half a dropper. So that, that is one thing. So I'm not saying this thing is a teaspoon. It's probably close enough. Um, so, you know, maybe your second dose, cause they can say, did it, they don't tell you how many times a day. Cause like I said, one of my other Ormuses was like, you know, they actually said, be mindful of taking it too close to bed. And they do, do have doses limits and the other Ormus um that i take one of i mean i have several but they say like one full dropper like two or three times a day so that might be one thing that you know just a little bit more because the dose they do give you a dosage one a tablespoon tablespoon for bath and a teaspoon for i guess general but it would be good to know you know how often 
how many times per day can you have it and still be okay? Um, but you know, nonetheless, it's minerals. Um, so, you know, we're going to talk a little bit more about um, Ormus in general, but it's high vibration minerals. So I just say that you take, if you take too much, is this going to cause your poo to be, you know, liquidy, like, like overdosing on like magnesium or trace minerals, trace minerals kind of. Um, a similar effect there. So, so yeah, so I say that this review is going to be me speaking freely. I'm very, very thankful for uh, Sphinx Ormus and their monatomic gold um, product. I mean, like I said, it's a 10 out of 10 out of, in terms of this, is what I was saying earlier, you know, I consider Ormus now to be a component of my, my continuous ascension and my own vibration rising and my own spiritual uh, awakening that's happening um, because that is really <laughs> um, so let me just I got to go off the outline because I'm just gonna start talking fast and missing my point but so at the end of the day the energy of the product arrived before the product at the end of the day too um, <laughs> you know this was a gift in a way like a manifest manifested thing that that came to me so I felt that spirit really needed to send it to me um, you know, it came packed in rose quartz. That was um, a pleasant surprise when I, when I opened it up. So I just knew it was going to be a unique experience, especially, you know, when I get, and I'm going to say this for later, when I talk about how, uh, this Ormus is created, the, the, um, creation, um, the manufacturing, go, the manufacturing, pro manufacturing process also has a lot of high vibrational elements that I think relate back to the actual experience that I have. So I don't want to give, give that away. So, um, so yeah, so my, 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 my first impression was just like, you know, I think the dream really just like hit home just that I might be in for something new. Um, so let's just real quick talk a little bit about what Ormus is. So like I mentioned, you know, at its essence, it's just minerals going into the body. But I think to be able to understand, um, and let me pause there. When I say minerals, kind of this thing about trace minerals. Now, that's one thing they listed on the back. And I'm sorry, you know what? Let me not just jump, jump ahead. This is perfect because we're talking about, before I kind of go into how the Sphinx Ormus impacted me <laughs> and all the different things that happened and the experiences, we're just going to take a, take a pause here and just remind ourselves what is Ormus. What is this supposed to do for a person? Um, so I'm going to read from the front of the uh, Sphinx Ormus bag and from the back. Because the back here, like when I was talking about Ormus, at this, Ormus at its essence is minerals going into the body. They list out the minerals. So I'm, I'm gonna, we're going to read them together. So let me just take a quick pause. Um, so I'm still uh, on the same tea blend. So I don't know, like this is, hold on. Man, it came out good. I love, um, I guess it's cool ice, not iced tea. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a Maryland girl and it, it can get controversial how you make, uh, <laughs> sweet tea and cold tea, but nonetheless, um, and I've been making a lot of videos, um, and batches, but that's the same tea that I had prior, which is Pu'er. Pu'er is an aged tea. I love like your girl loves some aged earthy things. <laughs> So it's puer tea, but I also mix in a little bit of um, Japanese green. Like that's been like my go-to these last couple of months is a mix of green and black tea. Try it out. Okay, so Sphinx Ormus. Um, so Sphinx Ormus, aka monotom mon monotomic gold. That's another, that's not just proprietary to Sphinx Ormus. That's another uh, acronym uh, or uh, aka also known as for Ormus. So Sphinx Ormus Monotoma Gold is a high vibrational, alchemical, potent, organic trace mineral elixir. I think that's a good way to put it. Mineral elixir. I might have to, to, to remember that. It's derived from um, co colloquial sea minerals and 99.9% .9 colloquial gold. Ancient Egyptians used this recipe to increase longevity and an enhance spiritual awareness 100%. Natural ingredients, no preservatives, GMO free. Um, so here are some of the the properties they put here again on the top of the bag. So assist in body detoxing, um, balancing brain hemisphere. Absolutely. So let me I'll let me take one by one, then I'll give feedback. So assist in body detoxing. I mean, I'm going to give y'all a story about the physical um, 
improvements that this Ormus did. But I would say right now, I'm actually, because I just was thinking about, I was like, oh man, this may explain why I'm going through. Um, so I, I would agree. I would say it's not harsh because people always, I mean, I guess in any supplement video, people are scared. If you try, it, it's going to have you stuck on the toilet. So it's none of that harshness. I, I would say that honestly, every Ormus experience is pretty gentle. Um, and, and when I warn people, it's not for the newbie. Number one, I mean, most good Ormus, you know, has a cost. Like, you're not getting $20. So, I'm just like, don't spend your money on something you may not know you can feel that's helping you. I mean, you know, if you just want to take things, that's fine. But like I said, you know, it's more like people who, and I'm not saying every spiritual person has to be a meditator. But I think it fits in with a certain type. Let me let me phrase it like, like even, a, let me say a yogi. Who may not meditate, meditate, which I'm kind of would be surprised by that because most most times that goes hand in hand. But let's just say they don't even do tarot or talk to spirit guides, but they're a yogi per like every day they do yoga. I could see them taking ormus and then that will probably blossom them into deeper, either deepening their yoga practice or doing more things. So like I said, I guess to me what I'm trying to say is you gotta like be, you gotta like a. I don't want to say meet spirit halfway because that's that that's definitely not what I'm trying to say, but. Um, you gotta be doing something. <laughs> you you gotta be doing something, and I think the Ormus latch on to that, and then you know it will propel you forward. So okay, I stopped at assisting body detoxing, but no, it's gentle. Balancing brain hemisphere, absolutely. Um, I think that goes back to you know one of the other um touted benefits of Ormus is decalcifying the pineal the pineal gland. And the pineal gland is um, one number one. You know, they say that's the seed of the soul. That's how intuition works. But it's also a key component of the what? The endocrine system. What is the endocrine system? Number one, I tell people that's the scientific term for the chakra system. But essentially, it um, the endocrine system monitors our glands and hormones, like thyroid, throat chakra, how we talk. So essentially, hormones, just to keep it at a one-on-one level, are chemical signals that the body sends to kind of keep things hold on balance what do people say oh my hormones are what out of balance so you know the uh endocrine system needs to be like breaker breaker one two one two why can't you hear me hey um what's the horn i don't know what's the hormone um i don't i see i don't have i don't have a good example i got a good joke but i have a bad example but you know you want your body to be able to hear those symbols when the the, the pineal gland the endocrine system is like yo throat so here's some thyroid juice, like ching ching, and you know, you're talking, you're not scratching, or you're not an overtalk. Yo, I met someone that had, um, hold on, hypo, 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 hypo was under, hyper, yeah, like hyperactive, had hyperthyroid, and that was an interesting use case. Number one, it was a man. I was like, oh, you don't meet too many men who have thyroid medicine. He was hyper, he would not, he was an overtalker. I mean, that energy's real. Like I said, you want to be in balance so that your thyroid is functioning enough where you can speak well, speak with authority, but also be a good listener. So balance, absolutely, 100%. And I think now this is something, like I said, you have to have the maturity and being able to listen and lean into, all right, I'm taking these products. How's my body responding? And I would say anyone as a supplement junkie who will order everything and take everything in one shot, you know, sometimes you got to like, slow down and applies to mindfulness take something and be like am i am i hearing or am i feeling that it's working most supplements you can kind of know you know because you skip a couple of days you feel off they're doing something but like ormus is something you're going to really lean lean into and listen um so let's see here they also say mood enhancement absolutely um i do notice that i kind of find that you know it's like a little bit of a yep and then it, it calms down. Um, so it's not like coffee. But, you know, after taking the Ormus, I was like, okay, I'm feeling good. I'm ready to do whatever. Sleep improvement. Um, I mean, like I said, I, I sleep pretty pretty dang good. Um, but I wish, I mean, that's the thing. Like, And, and I should have checked prior to this. Um, and I can maybe put some follow-up in the, in the description here. Um, I mean, that's the thing. I was taking the Ormus. See, it's hard to tell. I was going to say maybe I can check my, my sleep log because I do log my sleep data with my Apple Watch that's charging. <laughs> but like I said, because I, cause, and I've take, been taking the Ormus, this Ormus solely on its own the last few days, um, excuse me, the last couple of months. But, you know, it, my sleep hasn't changed. I hit deep sleep. I sleep six, seven, eight hours. Um, So I'm trying to think, though. 
I'm trying to think about my dreams. But see, I had a I had a family situation. Um, I had a family member that had to come stay with me, so that kind of now that disrupted <laughs> that disrupted my my sleep. But that was just more so, you know, uh, more in, environmental. Um, I have had actually, you know, what speak back to dream dream hangover. That's not something that happens often. Thank goodness, because I mean, it's like. It's it, it's a lot. You gotta like really shake yourself off. I would say for me, maybe I get dream hangover one or one or two or three times a year max. I actually had a dream um a few weeks ago, dream hangover. I um, mean for me, I know now dream hangover. For this dream, I specifically think I um was remote viewing. I think I was viewing a future situation. Um, I've had those. Ooh, I'll make sure we still good. Um, I've had those. Remote, remote, and remote viewing is just, I'm like, I don't like saying, seeing the future, seeing future p- potentials that actually do play out. So um, I've had a bunch of those type of dream hangover. That's why I'm like, you know, it took me a while to really know, oh, okay, what I saw is going to happen. But then also I've had a couple of intense dream, dream hangovers where I think it was definitely a past life. Absolutely. So, um, so that's one thing. Yeah, I can say with the Sphinx Omens, I had an intense dream, and I'll know soon I, when I'll come back and do a follow up to the follow up. I'll know soon whether that dream, what I saw in that dream, is going to happen. Um, all right, let's keep going. Um, enlightened spirituality. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, so I don't want to give away, like I said, all of, you know, my experiences, but, you know, I connected deeper to, I connected deeper and had further confirmation of a specific, I guess, ascended master spiritual deity, I believe is a guy in in my part of my spiritual team. Um, so I had a confirmation of that. So it said, but enhanced spirituality and, you know, I mean, like I said, I don't want to give it all away, but I had several moments of just hearing like stop you know i have a strong logical mind like i'm an i'm an auditor i like to review things here even on this channel but but i'm not an overthinker and i'm not um and you know how some people like oh i can't sleep my thoughts keep me up that's not me per se so i'm just just trying to kind of give some background but what i did keep hearing from spirit was just relying more not on the facts and figures that you memorize because i like to read you know i like to be online learn i like to learn so turning some of that down, yes, that's always going to be the fundamental knowledge base that you have and cherish within you, but listen to your intuition. So something was just like, listen more like, yes, these thoughts and what you think you feel and what you hear, that is us. So that, that got really loud, um, <laughs> really loud, really scary, not going to lie. Um, let me see, assist expedited healing. Now that, hold on, let me, y'all can, oh. I turn my ear this way. Y'all can see I just got this uh, uh this piercing piercing put in. Now that's gonna be I mean, I'm warning you now. I mean it's not like a nasty bloody picture, but I got my ear punch to get the three. Oh, that's a better way I can show. Oh, hold on. Why didn't I just do this? <laughs> it's hard trying to keep this camera, y'all. Um, so I didn't get all three holes punched because this is actually something I put in um put back in. I'll give y'all the sort of tell as to why I took the piercing out um, many moons ago. Ten, actually, yeah, ten, literally almost ten years ago, I took this piercing out, and I was surprised two holes still stayed. And I was like, yes, yes. So I only had to get one hole punch, and I mean, anyone know a piercing? A piercing is cart- cartilage. So you know, it was red and pussing and all that the the next day, and I didn't know I didn't put any ornaments on my ear because you know you do want to be careful. Like they even said, you know, only just use a saline spray. But essentially, this has been going in on my body. And I think that even proves the point even more. Then I'm going to put the pictures in. Like I said, I'm giving away some of my, my testimony. I'm going to put the pictures in the next day. I mean, it's not healed because a cartilage piercing is going to take time. You know, and it's always going to be a little bit tender until it fully, fully heals. That's just the laws of physics. But like I said, when y'all see the picture, the before and after the next day, like all the the dark, the the bruising, gone. Next day. I mean, and the iPhone's got the timestamps. Like, ain't no, I don't have time to do no Photoshop hacking over here. Um, and I even have, I have another wound, uh, wound on my um, leg. I put some ornaments on it. Um, and my friend, she was, you know, she was here when um, this came in. 
And she was like, oh, I got some cuts on my hand. Let's put some ornaments on. I was like, let's try it out. I was like, you know, I want more testimonials from other people. Um, you know, so, you know, she, she felt like, you know, her, um, like, you know, we you know how you get nicks on your fingers and it's annoying, but the next day it was less annoying. Um, and even for the cut on my leg, um, the next day, you know, it was hurting to the point where if I pressed around it, it was still tender enough to make me go like, ooh, ooh, ooh. The next day that was gone. So, um, and I know someone else, um, another Ormus vendor, like they love, and actually, yeah, yeah. When I looked up Ormus like on Amazon or online, a lot of people will have this as, um, freaking beauty products. So, I mean, my skin's pretty good. Thank you, genetics. Like, I'm, I'm 100%. Not just genetics, but my mama's side, man. They all have beautiful skin. But, um, that's, and I only use oil on my, um, I, you know, I'm going to put that, and I might email the Sphinx folks. I'm like, can I put a few droppers of this Ormus in my, or my, I guess it's my, it's my everyday oil for everything. Like, I don't have oil for my face and oil for my body. It's one oil blend that I make, that I make. Um, cause I'm just like, let me find out. I can take my, my face skin to another level. So that, that would be a TBD. So absolutely. Yes. On the assist expedited healing, um, enhanced energy. Um, so I am pretty <laughs> naturally, even though I drink a lot of tea all day, just because that's a past life. That's one of my Asian past lives. Asian and my DNA test and all my British Scotland, <laughs> Um, not even joking there, blood, like actually that's another thing, a lot of um, people in my family, we love tea, we don't miss tea time, but uh, no, seriously, enhanced energy, I would say definitely that comes with like, and that's our early Ormus symptom, like the improved meditation, the focus, the energy, now it's not, definitely not coffee, but more like, you know, like when you have those nagging, like, oh, I don't feel like doing this, that, that voice goes away. And you have just a little bit, oh, I'm, I'm going to wash the dishes. Oh, let me do this. Let me do that. You know, it gives you a little bit more of a boost. Um, And that's one thing. So, um, now that one is, I guess this would be, and I guess not a critique, but more so just like now I'm curious as to, why the other ormuses now i want to look into the production methods of all the other ormuses that i take because this one does have and when i say a salty taste number one they have it all over their website like this is not from the what's that thing they said dead sea what the dead salt sea yeah the dead salt sea <laughs> Um, you know, and actually I think what's cool, and I mean, like, I'm going to get into that when I talk about the production methods, but it's made in Australia. So this came from, I think, the Pacific Ocean. I love that. You know, we're, we're my Atlantic Ocean girl. I'm like, you know, give me some of that Pacific Ocean vibes. Um, so this, um, I say all this to say that the other ormuses, I even will put a dropper in like my water, my tea, and one of them is a powder. You got to mix it anyway. Uh, but this one actually tastes, I think, and and I'm just saying salty because I think that's just how we identify in terms of, you know, s sour, salty, whatever the other senses are. Because essentially, and I think that's why I keep saying you got to remember Ormus is min or minerals. If you, if you drink trace minerals without mixing it in water, you're going to, it's going to say, you're going to say it's salty. That's all electrolytes. And let me actually pause, pause, pause right there. Oh, and I think this is, man, spirit is talk, talking, uh, I think, on purpose when I just was talking about the energy. And we're talking about um, trace elements and, you know, um, excuse me, elements as minerals that we have to put into the body. So I think that's a good pause point because, uh, you know, what are minerals doing for the body? Um and how we answer that question all from the from the essence of we are all energy and we're all vibration. When, you know, when you don't have energy, when a battery runs out, what happens? You get tired. I think the best example is um, essentially what is Gatorade? When you strip away the color, the sugar, um, and this, that, and the other... It's, it's, it's minerals. It's minerals in there. And why do they have the, uh, I'm a, I'm a big hoop, hoop girl. Why do they have the basketball players drink Gatorade all day long? Because they're, I mean, all, all during the game, because they're doing what they're, what expand, expanding energy, playing basketball, kind of like what a high energy. So what is the Gatorade doing? It helps to what? Replenish their battery. So that's what minerals, vitamins and minerals, you know, and that's why I like supplements like, um, 
sea moss. I was like, what am I? Sea moss and bladder rack are popular because you get your full spectrum of um, minerals and vitamins. Because that's the thing. You minerals you actually we need to put in our body like we do get them from like spring water that's why people like spring water becomes comes from the ground it has minerals in it fiji water comes from the ground has minerals in it other than that that's when you have created uh electrolyte water that's the word i wanted to create electrolyte electric this is what keeps the human body going because we are energy we need to be electrified and it's kind of like not to go there, but when people like no offense are in the hospital and they get ready to die, they go with cold blue, they go and they want to like the shot. They're putting energy. So you always got to put energy back into your body and Sphinx or Ormus, Sphinx Ormus and Ormus in general, because it contains trace minerals and vitamins that the body looks at as energy sources kind of just like again that's not not use the whole professional nba example you know it's spring here in the dc metro area soon it'll be summer anytime i'm going out on my bike anytime you're going out you need to have what plenty of electrolytes when you go into hot humid in the saunas because you're sweating and that's why your salt tastes like what sweat i mean salt your sweat tastes like salt so you need to take salt pills, electrolytes. So they're almost, like I said, I was surprised that it tasted salty. But like I said, to me, that's just the higher mineral count. I think that some, like I said, it's one of my other Ormuses. Um, it has all the same minerals, but I guess this is the, the filtering out. So it's just, it's, and it's fine. Like I said, I can take it back. Maybe you might have a little bit of water, but it's salty. It's salty to the point where it does not taste good in like a coffee or a tea. So that's the only, like I said, a little bit of a downside. But I would not want them to, like, don't give me fruit-flavored Sphinx Ormus just so I could put it in my morning tea. It's all good. It's that good where, like I said, I use my dropper under the tongue, keep it under there for a little bit, you know. And then um, I just think I get used to, <laughs> I take a lot of stuff. I get used to taste quickly, and then I keep it mo moving. I think in the beginning, I maybe had, like, a little bit of water as a as a chaser. Um. So, where were we? Oh, we were still just reading these ingredients. Uh, apologize, y'all. Let me just drink a little bit more tea here. And shout out my Hydro Flash stickers. Like, it's a lifestyle. Busy being well. With my, with my cute little avocado. Absolutely. Y'all see, when I say Asian past lives, not joking around. This ring light is like trying to, trying to bright out everything. Hold on now. All right, let's keep rolling. So, yeah, so I think we broke down enhanced energy and why. So, again, vitamins and minerals. Improved stamina. I think that's, again, on the same um, vein. Um, but I think this stamina is long-term. One thing you got to remember, once the body starts its healing process, you know, um, a lot of things, once certain systems, the, the body is like a dang computer, once certain systems become operational and they're running well, that in turn allow other systems to run better. So I think that that improves stamina. Once you start putting, like some people who like run, who, and I'm not saying all, again, consult your doctor. Um, you know, a lot of people who have like chronic fatigue, it's like, yo, how much electrolytes are you eating? Like, what are you drinking? Like, you know, you need to maybe even look at all those different um, aspects when it comes to energy and stamina. Um, Anti-inflammatory and properties. So to be inflamed is to normally be what? On the other side of the pH scale, the acidic side. So because Ormus, through um, the minerals, through the pineal gland, things like that, and brings the body back into balance, that in turn takes you from acidic into an alkaline, um, more of an alkaline pH. So that should kind of just, again, help with the healing, help to get the, you know, that heat. Um, cause that's what, you know, anti, uh, excuse me, infl inflammation is, is heat, you know, is to be inflamed. And your organs, your blood, stuff inside gets hot. <laughs> so almost can help cool that down. That takes time. Um, that takes time. And, you know, that's normally, if you're inflamed, and myself, I get inflamed from food. I know my triggers sometimes new things sneak up. But, you know, most times um, inflammation, you need to look at your, aller your food allergies, your sensitivities, your medicines. But normally something around you in your environment or what you're eating is causing to bod the body to be hot. So like I said, normally, like I said, yeah, you can take products to help, but you need to do, uh, you need to change something around you.
Oh my goodness. And the last one, <laughs> I guess I gave it away. Assisting alkalizing the body. And that just supports what I said about um, anti-inflammation. Um, okay, so now we're going to the back. So it says elements to be found include copper, gold, cobalt, ruthium, rhodium, silver, palladium, platinum, osseum, iridium. Oh my God, made me think of Stardew Valley. And nickel. Um, and then they have other trace elements. And this gets into like, point, isn't it PPM points per measure? Uh, it's deep. So I'm just going to like, from boron, sulfur, sodium, magnesium, potassium, phosphorus, calcium, silicon, strontium, lithium, uranium, iron, zinc, magnesium, aluminum, and gold. Keep away from sunlight. Please keep it away from um, electromagnetic fields and store it in the EMF. This is an EMF bag. Um, so yeah, EMF is electron, electron, <laughs> electromagnetic field on um, abbreviation. Um, shake well, do not refrigerate. Yeah. Ormus does not need to be refrigerated. Um, it says here again, I'm going to reread it. Consult with your personal health provider before try it. It's not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure, cure any disease it has not been evaluated by the Australia or the American FDA. Buyer beware. Um, yep. So, so like I said, it comes in this bag and it comes with rose quartz. So that's one of, uh, the things that I'm going to get into is just the, um, I guess, yeah, customer service or the experience of the company is, is a one. So let's see here where we at with my outline. Oh, we were now, yes, we were talking about what is Ormus. Um, so think about. So it's, it's Ormus monatomic gold and monatomic elements or elements that are stable as single atoms, mono, one. So, you know, when I was reading out like magnesium, sodium, sulfur, you know, they're um, elements. Think about the periodic table. We had to memorize what all the dang elements. I still see it with H, hydrogen. Um, that's the only one that comes to me. You know what I'm saying? So think of those things, but stable as, as, as single atoms. So that's where the mono comes in. When monatomic gold is ingested, a subatomic body, let's stop there. The subatomic body, um, you hear this in the energy healing chakra world. Like this is the physical vessel. Then you have like the etheric body. And then you know how like people, best example, skip all that, how people see auras or how you get your, if you go to a spiritual festival, they have certain equipment that takes a picture of the energy around you. That's subatomic bodies. They say that we have seven around us. Um, so that's a whole world. Not going to try to explain that. So, but I wanted to say, because I told y'all earlier, you know how you know Ormus is, is, is crankalanking and is working for you and you, and you, and you know, is when you, when your subtle senses, Sorry, wrong, wrong ear. When your subtle senses start to come alive. But let's keep going here. So our subatomic body seeks to align itself or match that with that of gold. This transpires at an extremely subtle level. Physically speaking, it's more so a matter of being a superconductor. So let me hold on. Because I, I know that's like, y'all was probably like, what did she just say? And I know because I paused to... Let's read the whole sentence back. When monatomic gold is ingested, our subatomic body seeks to align itself or match with that of the gold. That transpires at an extremely subtle level. Physically speaking, it's more a matter of being a superconductor. So I take that as when it's saying it's a matter of being it's a matter of being a superconductor. It is the monatomic gold. So when you're a superconductor, what does that mean? This is how I had to, again, we have to break down these words so we can understand, you know, what we're putting in our bodies. You know, you got to be able to explain Ormus back to yourself. So the notion of monotomic gold, um, and don't forget too that Ormus has a lot of different Ormus gold, monotomic gold, um, white gold, because a lot sometimes Ormus is powder, manna. So when they also talk about, you know, I think, People see Ormus having all these different nicknames, but these nicknames actually explain what it is. Monatomic gold, white powder, gold, 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 gold. So right here, being a superconductor, so monatomic gold as a superconductor allows clearer cell-to-cell -cell communication. 
what did I just talk about earlier? About Ormus helps to decalcify the pineal gland. What does the pineal gland do? It's a component of managing the endocrine system. What does the endocrine system do? Number one, the endocrine system is the anatomic, the modern anatomical definition of the chakra system. So thyroid, pineal gland is the third eye. The heart, um, when it get lower here, down to the digestive area and then all the way down to the root, root chakras. Um, but essentially the pineal gland and, you know, I think I can, this is best to continue to use the thyroid or the throat chakra as an example. You know, people have to take thyroid medicine. That's hormones. When hormones are just chemical substances um, that the body sends to allow it to basically make decisions and actions. Let's actually pick on another organ. Um, so we go throat. So third eye, we got crown at the top just for a little chakra review. Hold on crown all the way at the top or for me my locks crown um third eye which is your pineal gland th throat chakra heart uh, so back to hormones when someone's angry you know what happens you know like right now i'm cool i'm chill the body's like la 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 but when you're angry your heart starts to what beat faster your feet may sweat different reactions are happening based off of what your emotional temperament that's hormones. That is the body sending signals. To this case, it went to the heart with the fast heart beating. It went to, I don't know, the skin because my feet, like for me, when I like get a little nervous or angry, my feet might sweat. Or no, people, yeah, you get hot, you start sweating. I don't know what, 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 what hormone system that is. But the sweating, you know, um, even... Another example, I can, now, now my, 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 <laughs> my knowledge is coming alive back to the importance of hormones and the importance that I'm saying this because back to monatomic gold being a superconductor, allowing clearer cell to cell communication, you need to understand how the different systems in the body relate back to our behavior, what we're doing, what we're putting in our body as far as how our body actually functions. So we said thyroid, we said heart, when we get angry, what happens? Butterflies in our stomach when we get nervous. When you also sometimes have an intuitive feeling, when you have a feeling about someone. So that's your digest that's your digestive system. The body sends different hormones and things like that to that to make it to um you know make it respond. So, you know, I think it's important to know about having hormones. You know, like I said earlier, we don't want the body to have to, yo, hey, hey, digestive system, are you online? You know, like wait, or or you don't want to be like Oh, I'm sorry, like, uh, this makes me laugh. The, the, if you have an overactive thyroid and you talk so much, talk too much, your body's going to be like, you know, imagine like a Zoom call and all the, on, all the systems are online. Be like, uh, thyroid system, you're going to be muted. You're, you're muted for the rest of the call. <laughs> I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny. <laughs> Clear up the cell-to-cell -cell communication. That way, the, the chief operator, you know, the chi, energy, like, whatever that makes the body hum, hum. Because, you know, they really don't really explain that, do they? They explain all the separate organ systems. But, you know, that's really where traditional Chinese medicine, chi, life force, you know, like, the, the soul. To me, your soul is what makes it all work and come come alive. <laughs> but that's going deeper and deeper. But getting some ormus into your body keeps the balance. And like I said, gold, the gold, um, you know... Let me keep going here. The superconductor gold is a superconductor of electro, electrical impulses. High spin rate. Back to energy. You want to be moving slower. You want to be moving fast to get things done, to, get, to have your manifestations unfold. And increase your frequency. What is frequency? So we're not going to just be speaking all these woke terms without what does this mean? When, and because this is a big one in this spiritual world, like, man, I'm just trying to keep the vibes high. You know, I'm just trying to keep my frequencies elevated. You know, I want to be living what we talk about all the time, that the planet is stuck in a 3D. That's a frequency, a 3D um, third dimension. I was like, what is a third dimensional experience? When you move out of fear and you move into love, that's what a fifth dimensional experience. Those are different frequencies all the way up to the higher ones, like the angels and the dragons. And other celestial beings. So why do we want our frequency to be higher and higher? Think about it. You know, when you're vibrating low and slow, kind of just like, 
like a bell. Imagine you're ringing a bell. Dong. But then imagine like, imagine you had like kids that were like hanging like ding dong, ding dong. Like, cause you got all that kid energy. Like, what's the universe is going to hear quicker? Like, dong. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, we hear you. Wait, wait. We hear you. Wait. Hold on. Wait a minute. Louder. Wait a minute. We hear you. Wait. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, hey, 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 hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? Because frequency is your reach. That is your reach back to the universal creator, God, whatever, the life force, sun, the grand central sun, whatever you may believe in, whatever is the, um, the, the great creator that's in charge of this whole simulation, that's in charge of the universe. So that's your frequency. And we don't know. All we do know that the universe is continuously expanding. So I know what I want to have happen. My frequency to expand along with it. I don't want my reaches to be like, your frequency allows you to only talk to people in five galaxies. Just five. Well, I want to talk to the people in the next ten galaxies. Your, your frequency does not go deep. Please try your call again. Do, hold on, do cell phones, do the people of, like, do the millennials, what's younger than the millennials? Y'all might not get that joke. Like, when you used to call on the on the landline phone and you put in the wrong number, you just like me. I'm trying to dial out to these other 10 frequencies, and my physical body is like, no, your frequency doesn't go to high. I get the ding, ding, ding. Please try your call again. So that's why you need to be able to either have supplements that can t- put you in a higher vibrational supplement, a uh, higher vibrational state, but that's a whole lifestyle. And that's a whole separate video. But again, we're breaking down Ormus. So it's a superconductor, and we know superconductor allows for clearer. If, it's, if it enhances cell to cell communication in our physical vessels, you don't think that's going to help us with um, communication back to subtle energies? Sometimes, like, what are souls? What are, and this is anything you want to throw in this pot souls, angels, God consciousness. Um, star seeds, aliens, <laughs> deities, goddesses, you know, a- ancestors, whoever, what, what, once they're not a physical thing anymore, what is it? It's a soul, it's light, it's an energy, it's a consciousness. It's a, I like to use the phrase, it's a non-physical entity. And, you know, like I said, I have these dreams. We have people who channel. We have people who are world-renowned psychics. They, they can go through your generate your family's line. And this is not just people prophesizing in a, in a bucket, you know. And, of course, let's, let me prep. Now, I hope I don't want to do the timeout thing. There's a reason why every Mega Million and Powerball winner is not a psychic. It doesn't work like that. But if your gifts are, if you work your gifts in the way that you are supposed to, your life will be abundant. I'm just going to leave it at that. But back to these people who have that sight, that sight, that sixth sense, who can, and in this case, especially if they read for a family that's crossed over and say, someone can, someone can testify, yes, that is my grandfather. Uh, like for me, like I can just say, I got a, a channel message. And that's what made me, that snapped me into, oh, this stuff is not a joke. It's not the Cleos. It's not the, didn't um, Latoya Jackson have a psychic hotline at one point for people in the 90s? But no, seriously, I had a, a message channeled to me. And the person who gave it to me, it made no sense to them. They were just the vessel. We're just conduits. Getting information, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to discount anyone when we make things, when we create stuff, when we write, when we make a story or create a deliverable when we keep it for my corporate folks. Yes, that's us, but in a way, we're always co-creating with spirit or something, our physical body and our current souls. That plus your spirit team around you. That plus all these specks of light that we can't see. Remember, UV, we can't see everything around us. But some of us, all of us, just a matter of learning how to tap into it, should be able to, that's why I love this whole notion, like on, in, I guess, YouTube spiritual world, like, oh, I'm getting a download. I have some information for you. Like that person who read, gave, gave, channeled that message from, and this was from my father who's been, he's been passed on since I was seven. <laughs> so, um, well, over the 33, <laughs> you know, at least 23 years or more. Um, so nonetheless, the person who gave me the message, that was my point. It, 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 it was just data to him. He spoke English words because we speak English. He spoke, he gave, spoke English words. I understood exactly what he meant. And it was something only my father would know. Yeah, be able to tell me. And that's the validation. 
So, you know, in, intuition is very subjective, but I feel if you're here in this video, watch about Ormus, <laughs> you know that you believe in some aspects of these things. So we really need to hone back in because I want y'all to understand, again, back to the chemical and chemical is just the minerals. There's nothing, no, nothing great. There's no MSG up in the Ormus. But seriously, let's go back to this sentence here that I wrote. Ormus superconductor gold is a superconductor of electrical impulses, a higher spin rate, and an increase of frequency, which is your reach to universal consciousness, the great creator, and other non-physical being, and any other, we call, we say light codes, like the sun. Um, so, sometimes you also refer, you heard them being referred to as biophotons. Not trying to make this a veg versus a non-veg thing, but that's also why some people do like a plant-based diet because they believe, you know, given that there's certain intellectual information, light codes in the sun, the sun blessing the plants that they then in turn eat also is a way to, again, enhance intuition and get those messages that are being sent around. Um, so essentially, you know, because Ormus, the gold in the Ormus, is a superconductor, allows for a clearer cell-to-cell -cell communication and a higher spin weight, spin rate, which gives everything around it, you know, almost kind of like a little universe real energy. It allows for your subtle energy system to be able to detect, detect and hear and listen. But like I said, that's some of that I feel like is definitely getting to do some ad advance, you know, knowing that self, knowing that intuition, um, and you know, taking care of your body. Yeah, like I said, it's not about, you know, plants versus meat. You know, you just need to be able to take care of your body for you able to be able to sense and keep your shock. You know, to me, taking care of your body, let me define it like this. Taking care of your body is not about how much you weigh, how much you can bent press, um, how many raw juices you have. Tell me, are your chakras aligned? Because let's go back to that spin. Um, let me see here. I move my note. <clears throat> High spin rate. What are chakras? spinning wheels of light and when your chakras are sluggish and slow and don't move that's when they're blocked now let's take hypothyroid you don't talk you're not empowering yourself to speak up own your voice own your truth so if you put a substance inside here like the ormus the gold as a superconductor Allowing clearer cell-to-cell -cell communication and a higher spin rate that just gets things moving again, that has your chakras aligned. And that's going to improve many things. It's going to improve your, your throat communication, your third eye, your heart. If you have high or low blood pressure, again, balance. Now, that's one thing I never, back to the year by year, um, I used to have low, low on the line blood pressure. It's been pretty on spot on. I've never had high. Go figure. Everyone in the family, high, 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 high blood pressure. Never had high. So it's balance, coherence. Coherence is the word I love. Coherence and resi resilience, those are words I love when it comes to managing your vibration. Because I think, again, no one lives on the spectrum of high vibe every single day or hopefully you're not low vibe every single day, depressed, anxious. You know, you we're going to be on the ends, but we might not live in the middle. And when we're on the ends, I think what's key back to being able to manifest quick, quicker and continue to, you know, enjoy your lifetime here is how quickly can you come back into coherence? How quickly can you be resilient? Be like, all right, I was knocked down to the depression, um, you know, or my, and even for me, actually, like I joke around, like my friends, <laughs> I have a lot of energy and, you know, my friends are, are cool, you know, but a lot of them are like, I'm so tired. And I'm all like, blah, 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 blah. like here's some energy. So for me, I have to sometimes work to bring my high energy into better balance. Cause if I'm all like ADD and all over the house, I'm not getting anything done. So coherence, check out the heart math group. If you're interested in coherence, that's why people meditate because it helps uh, reduce the um, high, high states the high thinking stage, which I think is what uh, beta, you want to get into alpha, theta. I know delta is sleep, I believe. That's what meditation does. I know I'm like a little all over the place, but it's all related. Meditation, I mean, meditation does so much, man, y'all. Like, please find some type of meditation practice and even can be a, a mindful walk. So many different meditation practices and apps. I've reviewed a few um, because because this has made me just realize, you know, how much meditation does for the brain as far as 
bringing us out of high stress states, bringing us back into coherence. Because when the brain, the when the brain and the heart start to get back in balance, normally they help each other. Like yo, they're like BFFs. And then the stomach. Actually, the stomach is kind of like at the top of the hierarchy, but that's a whole separate thing. Yes. So back to being a good picture of health. It's not about weight or bench pressing or CrossFit or your Orange Theory membership. I know about Orange Theory. It's about coherence. It's about your chakras being aligned. And I mean, it does matter a little bit. You know, we do need to, you know, not be right on the BMI. Who created the BMI? But you got to take care of this physical vessel. And I say this to myself as a person who is doing um, a race in a week. Who is not like enough. It's not like a half marathon. But it's enough miles where I'm just like, what are you doing? You have not prepared. So calling my own self out. Um, but okay, that is a lot. And that essentially we have uh, just to see where I'm at with the outline. Oh, now my tea's at the bottom. Like with pure tea, it's it's a tea cake. So if you don't know what pure tea is, a tea cake. Um, you know, most of the filter or my little tea ball, but normally it's like some pieces. So it's like coffee grains, um, tea grains at the bottom of, the, of my liquid. So I was like, no, no more. So uh, let's see. Give me all my first impressions. We've talked in and out about what Ormus does and what it is, and specifically about some of the methods of, of what, what's in Sphinx Ormus. Um, now let's really talk a little bit more about, uh, how the, this was, this is all now specific to Sphinx Ormus, how it impacted me. Um, so how I tested it, well, I think I told y'all, um, because I normally, um, rotate other Ormuses throughout the week. I stopped completely for almost two weeks. No Ormus at all in my body. Um, uh, so I also put Ormus as far as reviewing it into four categories, focus, meditation booster intuitive oprah conduit you know let's just say like deep woo stuff (laughs) um and then physical benefits um so internal external body healing and then just overall wellness um so for me i kind of talk about this but i take it in the for morning in the in the morning first thing so that's no food um you know normally just like maybe water um yeah, so definitely just keep it light and go into meditation. And then, like I said, I may take um, a half a dropper uh, for uh, extra focus in the, you know, maybe like mid to late afternoon, early early evening, worst case. So, you know, and then I may have kind of covered some of this because, you know, we've been like so all over the place with this with this Ormus discussion. I hope y'all are enjoying this video. I, I actually am enjoying like talking about it and even for myself kind of going back seeing like I love how they labeled all the different benefits here and I was just like oh yeah almost that is doing this for me and that is working and that you know I am seeing these these benefits um so like I said I am very much so impressed you know with with this Ormus and Ormus vendor um and going back to those those four categories across the board so let's continue to kind of like let me continue to explain you know why I'm I'm um, kind of just ranting and raving so, you know, how do you know Ormus is, is working? Um, so I give y'all a lot of examples, but, you know, when I was preparing for this video, I was like, of course, when you Google Ormus, you know, I told you it has like, you know, a lot of different names. And it also has a lot of fictional stories like the Philosopher's Stone. And, you know, we're not going into Harry Potter, lo- po- Potter land, but then, you know, they have like, you know, the, of course, they say the Egyptians, it's, an- it's uh, anti-aging and, you know, all the different myths that come come with that. So one of the myths was, um, oh, they put Ormus into uh, the stone and it helps them levitate it, and that's how they built the pyramid. So, I, so I'm like, take take my next set of feedback, not with a grain of salt in terms of what I'm saying, because I'm speaking the truth, but do not <laughs> equate it with any of that poppycock and craziness that's online. But another thing with ascension and moving up the up the frequency scale into higher dimensions literally as you go higher and higher and higher you become more light in the body that's why you hear the phrase light worker um you know you hear about um yeah this 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 google the google the light body and it comes and as it relates to the essential process because essentially we should go from um being less matter and being more of a conscious energy state and that's less dense so for me you know i what i wrote here is i feel like when the ormus so just like like to me i'm sorry like 
meditation is the linchpin. Because meditation almost kind of like, I feel like it awakens my world to like a 4K, 5K state. But when I put the ornaments with it, so I feel like I'm like almost floating when I'm, when I walk, when I walk. No, no bull jive. I feel, I feel light in the body. I feel less dense. And trust me, your girl, I got some weight. (laughs) I got weight on me, but you know, I feel like I'm swishing, walking in a flow state. Joyful, beautiful, just just flowing. And it feels good. It does. Um, Increased communication from spirit guides channeling. I don't even know where to begin with this. So, okay, where I can begin is one of the, one of my guys in my team is um, Archangel Metatron. Also reincarnated as uh, Tehute in the ancient Egyptians, Saint Germain. You know, uh, as as Metatron the angel, he was the celestial scribe. Tehute, Hermes, that writer, the messenger god, sending messages. So I kept, (laughs) I don't even know where to, because this story goes like this. It goes in so many different directions. So I kept getting some ideas about um, clear quartz crystals and, you know, Metatron just kept coming up over and over. Um, and, and also, I'm sorry, Metatron, this is how I can bring it all in focus. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> I wear Metatron's cube. Sorry, if it's, I wear Metatron's cube. So it's, it's definitely a sacred, um, excuse me, Metatron's cube is, is made from sacred geometry. Um, and this one just happened, sorry, I'm like, can't pull it for, it, ha- it happens to have the colors of all the chakra points. And this is or- organite. Um, so, you know, it's a, Metatron is a sacred symbol to me, to keep it simple. So, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I like wrote down all these different things that, um, that, that happened, but, um, sorry. Someone was texting me. So, um, so I met, and I just met, not absolutely not trying to make this race about race, but you know, I am a sister. I'm a black sister out here and it had a little bit deeper meaning. Like, it's just cool if I haven't met, I haven't, I've met people into sacred geometry. You know, that's, that's popular. Well, I don't know. It's not super popular. I mean, people sometimes like the flower, like the different patterns. Uh, but I run a, um, the DMV tarot meetup and someone had a giant Metatron's cube tattoo. And that's not something that you see every day. So of course I was like, "Mm." and I was like, you know, I'm not going to all be like fangirl. Like, like, hold on. Like, so when I say Metatron, that person had this whole tattoo. So I'm trying not to be fangirl, but I'm all like, oh, that's a nice tattoo. What, what does it mean? They're like, oh, it's Metatron's cube. And then I was like, like, <laughs> like this one? And then she's like, oh, you know about Metatron? And I was more like, what you know? So, <laughs> yeah, so seeing a sister with a giant, and I mean, like, whole arm Metatron cube tattoo. <laughs> but we talked about channeling. Celestial scribe. And I knew that and Metatron also oh Serapis Bay is another um life. He he can be a task and I'm a Capricorn, so Saturn. Sat, so incarnating here into a Saturnian. So we gonna feel that pressure. Um, you know, I had a family situation. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Metatron's like, you need to get this done. The sole mission that I'm here to do. And there's, I, I know that there's been some pressure applied, which I need, but there's also been tons. And I wrote this down to this few, but there's been tons and tons and tons of synchronicities. The Ormus came as a synchronicity with the dream. So seeing that person talking to them about the channel stuff that they write their relationship with Metatron, the, the, um, clear quartz that I bought and I actually ended up buying a Metatron, um, cube. This is some Etsy. Sorry, let me move the carnelian. So it was hematite, which I had been wearing. Angel light. Oh, sorry. Angel light. Hematite, angel light. A little bit. Clear quartz is hard to, while I was finding, looking for clear quartz is Reiki. And then some more symbols. And then that's the clear, clear quartz that I bought. 
So, um, and then I had a channeled message come in and normally, I don't even know where my, normally my channel stuff is, other than my poems, like my friends know my poems and they get those, but normally like I'll guess, so the poem would be 20%, 80% of the, I guess I'll say now 70% of the channeled messages normally just come into me or I guess they come out, you know, you never know when you're tapping in. Um, on reading or on a video. So I had a channel message come in. Um, and this time I knew I had to gift it to that person. And that was a new experience, but it was received well, actually with a lot of emotion. Um, and you know, my, my lights, <laughs> like, please don't do it live on YouTube. Like also my friends know, um, you know, I know all vanilla, vanilla event spirits and guys that are with me are for my highest good and any that try to get in because I know they do try you know negative energy is real you know a trans transmuted out but you know the lights in here certain lights in here flash when you know spirit is trying to make it known it's around um it's just a known thing like I have a uh and I know hopefully my home is gonna my good home is gonna see this video so I use Marco Polo which um, anyone who's not <laughs> a super fun person or, who, you know, if you're in a relationship where you travel a lot or you, me and my friends started using it, they didn't live in the um, D.C. area anymore. So nonetheless, like they know if I'll be on Marco Polo and the lights start to flash, it's just a normal thing down <laughs> over here. <laughs> Let's pull a tarot card. Somebody's trying to come through. So, you know, definitely a, a lot of that has happened. And like I said, you know, some of this is also, you know, I've been on a spiritual journey for a while, I guess. I, I really say it my whole life because I, re I read a lot of mythology, but I guess I can say maybe I got my first official real natal chart reading done right out of college. So 04, so 04, 2014, almost 2024. So, you know, nearly almost 20 years. But I will say, though, as far as really listening to intuition, understanding it, and even acknowledging and working with spirit guides, that's all very new in the last five years or more. So actually, hold on, 2014? Tag, time is rolling. No, I would say that probably started 2015. So, but yeah, that's like seven, I didn't even realize. So that was like seven or eight years. So really only a couple of years before I started taking the ornaments. So I definitely can say that Ormus has definitely helped compound that. Um, but I am very confident now when I talk about spiritual communication, messages, channeling, dreams, pulling cards, and messages. You know, the, absolutely. So um, so that's so those those are a few. So yeah, I said increase intuitive messages and more more synchronicities every single day. It's punctuated with more hunches and confirmations of signs of spirit. Absolutely. Um, I think I talked well. I talked about this with the when I feel like I'm walking, I'm like feel. I do feel more balanced. Um, and I have for my astrology people, I have Mars in Libra, which you think would just be like, oh, she's probably well balanced. No, Mars in Libra has me second guessing myself, and I can't make decisions. And I mean, it drives drives me crazy. Woo, woo. It really does. It's like like that and the other Libra placements in my chart that I refuse to acknowledge. But um, when I think of balance, though, I think more physically because, um, you know, while I may not be a overthinker, I'm very energetic. So thoughts and energy and emotions come quick. So I have to do a lot of self-managing. <laughs> um, so I definitely feel more balanced, like just more even kill, more able to, uh, yeah manage myself <laughs> be a good adult uh oh this is a good one okay um because i'm gonna save the wound healing for last so let me see here talked about the secret oh so signs since we talked all of all of, we talked a lot about frequency so signs how you know your frequency is getting higher i think we should explore that because that's one how you got to be able to pay attention to so um, I guess to me, it's just, uh, I, I can only kind of liken it to the example of you do, if you put in a battery and it's the wrong voltage, that thing shorts out. So the shorten out could be you just either burning out quickly or you not getting it or, and when I say not getting it, it is a little bit more like you can read it and understand it, but it's not like, oh, I don't like this. It's more like, I don't get it. 
I'm interested in it. I would like to get it, but I don't get it. That just means you're not able to process it yet. You're not on that frequency. That's about reading materials and a whole lot of other stuff. So for me, so I'm sorry, back to how to tell if your frequency is getting higher. Um, one, I mean, I don't want to say your spiritual experiences will start to be more intense. I feel like that's very cliche. Let me give specific examples. Well, let me just give the one that, that I have, and then maybe we can kind of create some more here together. So I have actually a few. They all they all happen to involve involve reading. So um, let me try to think of some more, but let me at least give y'all some examples. Um, so for me, uh, Eckhart Tolle's book, um, what is it? A new, not a new earth, something with healing. Oh my gosh. And I should Google it real quick. Oh my God. What is, oh, in the noun, the net, the noun, um, we just going to put it right here. Oh, the power of noun, a new earth. I was kind of like mingling them together. So these are books that I've been trying to read, you know, cause they're on like everyone's Oprah super soul list and that kind of minimize my outline hold on y'all child let me not get myself all out of balance there we go you know Tolle's books are world renowned oh every spiritual person should read them like I I can't I don't understand I just can't so that's on my list to revisit soon to see if I'm able to be on the frequency of his books so I have another book, um, just to keep it simple, it's an Isis book. Isis is a um, Egyptian deity. And I've tried to read this book over and over. I'm like, I just can't get it. So I picked the book up last week and I'm able to read some of the book. And I was like, okay, this is good. Um, I think that my frequency has changed in relation to this material. I think another thing, and like now I can only kind of think of tarot card and oracle card readers, uh, maybe, you know, maybe it's a deck or even a certain card, you know, you didn't get it. And then all of a sudden you have a whole new, I think, yeah, I think that's the best way to explain your frequency changing. You have a new relationship, a new way of relating to the item that despite your best attempts, physical, logical, you just couldn't like, that's the energy, like it's a blockage. So when you're able to, um, and I think maybe actually a good example of your frequency being better, you're less responsive to junk. Like you're less argumentative because you're trying to go here. And, and this reminds me of, oh yeah, like you have to look at the inner, excuse me. Yeah. The energy of emotions. Cause emotion are just what emo, energy, emotion, emotion, energy, emotion. So every, everything has frequency. Number one, from wood, rock, humans, liquid, water, urine, <laughs> food, just like we have the pH system. Everything can be measured. So your emotions can be measured and we know anger, frustration, or like lower, they're lower in density, they're low and slow. And remember things that don't move quick vibrate lower as if things that just like that bell, ding, 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 that's vibrating at a higher frequency because it's moving quick. But when you're angry, this, that, that, you're not thinking clear, like when you, certain vibrations had keep you in a lower, lower state. So just like, I think joy, joy, contentment you know, love, that's absolutely feels different than hate, greed, jealousy. I think, yeah, jealousy is a, is a, you know, when you're, when you get jealous, you, you say, oh man, I only thought like that. Or I acted that way. Cause I was, that was my jealous mind, different energy signature. So back to knowing your frequency is getting higher. If you know, let's just say your situation where, um, you know, what was a simple thing people get jealous about money and stuff like that, where you're around someone, they have a million dollar house and you know, they're a nice person, whatever, but you, people can't help, help what they have. They can't help what job or what they, people can't help what they have, period. But you just know, despite maybe your best intents, like I said, I think that's a perfect, this is a good example. Your best intents, you love this person, you know, y'all have a great relationship, but you know, every time you go over their house, you're jealous. You know, um, and, it's, and maybe in some cases you have to really work hard for it to not affect the friendship. And maybe there has, there was some, um, some issue, but nonetheless, just to say time rolls on and you go over the house one day and all of a sudden you just realize that you're driving home. You're like, whoa, I never even had one jealous thought about the person's house. You're on a higher vibration. Welcome. And normally that's because that's where things like shadow work. 
CBT uh, therapy, cognitive behavior therapy, retraining, a lot of Joe Dr. Dr. A lot of Dr. Joe Dispenza's work, even just being mindful, knowing your triggers, you know, being able to work on, like, do I want to stay stuck here? Do I want to change? So your frequency, you're noticing your frequency is higher is when you respond to things different, when you can relate to things different, where you might have been stymied or blocked. So definitely I can say that's another, um, yeah. And like I said, I take, I've been, I take Ormus. So for Sphinx Ormus to be the Ormus, to allow me to relate this, you know, I should, I'm going to come back. Like, um, I mean, I'm always reading, but, um, that's the thing. I got so frustrated with the Tole books. I was like, well, I don't even have an interest, but I, I must see it should be knowing me. I think I at least have, bar, have one either in my Kindle or, um, on audible. So I think that's a good test. I will come back. I will try to listen to the material and see if I relate to it higher. But like I said, you know, with no disrespect to the other ormuses that I had, I've had, and like I said, I think a lot of them, and I even explained that in my prior videos. Some help with meditation, some help open me up to in intuition, some just help me feel good. But you know, this one really hits home. It it really is checking um, a lot of the different um, checks a lot of boxes in terms of seeing improvements in my life and me being, being able to look back and see my frequency has changed or something. That's a big one. Uh, so let's see. Uh, okay. Pineal gland. Yes. So I talked, I don't know. I think I might said this already when I feel called to trust my intuition more and I'm seeing that ties right into this increased synchronicities and which ties right back into the increased communication from spirit guides, seeing the person with the Metatron feeling like I'm hearing messages from Metatron, Metatron saying, I'm going to show you pineal gland working, being able to, again, decode, decode. Information from non-physical entities, light, just different energies around that some of us have those gifts to be, all of us, I mean, I say some of us, all of us have those gifts. You have to train yourself to tap into them. Um, oh my gosh, I got another one before. Okay, wait a minute, let me see, I talked about this. Okay, so without giving away, because we're going we're gonna to go through all seven methods that Sphinx Ormish uses to supercharge their product. One of them is sacred geometry. And yes, uh, I talked about, sorry to keep like, throwing up my chain. Uh, I talked about Archangel, Meta, the Metatron's Cube is like one of the master sacred geometry. And let me also time out because I don't want y'all to get lost. What is sacred geometry? So they basically, scientists, that's the day, have, they have deduced that, you know, you can break life down to what? Atoms and subatoms, particles. But... At a deeper level, they all, everything in life, I guess, has different shapes. Um, like, like squares, uh, circles, triangles, the building blocks of life. There we go. So when you build, when you put those building blocks of life together, you, and how like, you know, like the, exa the example you see of like how a embryo, embryo, a baby goes from a simple single cell and it goes like does all that and then oh it's a baby like the patterns going inside like those patterns are in everything in life that is sacred geometry so um i and, and let me say my background with sacred geometry i wear this metatron's cube now can i sit there and if you ask me write down 10 facts about metatron's cube i probably cannot give you 10 <laughs> Um, other than I know what the symbol was composed of, like triangles, circles, the cu a cube, and, you know, I'm learning. But clearly, like I said, this is a path that I'm being put on. I'm, I'm trying to increase my vibration to this knowledge. But nonetheless, the sacred geometry shapes are just pretty. So another way that people use sacred geometry is on grids. And I was introduced to someone through a mutual esoteric shop that makes grids. One, I think they're pretty. I like her energy. Uh, and she puts Reiki on the grids and I don't know, like I said, I just resonate, I resonated with it. So that's another thing that I'm trying to do is cause I know you have to, um, what charge up the grid and there's a certain way to do, to do that. But you know, that's one thing with the spiritual world. It is a, uh, what is it? An inch wide, a mile deep as they, as we sometimes stay in, stay in the tech world. It can be complex. So nonetheless, I, I like, I like to have her, her, uh, her sacred geometry art around my house. So back to, you know, um, Metatron having a relationship with sacred geometry, uh, you know, the Ormus here, Sphinx Ormus being charged by sacred geometry, 
definitely, you know, what I wrote here is, uh, I think that the Ormus definitely increased my relationship to sacred geometry because one, um, I ordered a grid during the period right when I started taking it. Um, Flower Life. That came. Then soon after, yes, now I remember, I was having all these downloads at the same time to get the clear quartz. Um, I also got Organite. You see that has a sacred geometry pattern on it. This is a lapis. Organite is just a mashup of like metals, resin, and I think this is like copper. And then this is where I just was out there on Etsy. I was reading some books on Kindle about the building blocks of sacred geometry. And those all break down to what is something called um, platonic, as in, yes, Plato. Famous something, 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 something. Um, and I got to be careful because I do not want these to fall. But essentially, when it comes to, let me do it like that. When it comes to, sorry, sacred geometry... Wish there was a way y'all could see that a little bit better. When it comes to sacred geometry, these, I think it was the seven, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, these seven shapes are the building blocks. Um, and in this case, this relates, they all have different colors. So I don't, you know, ask me, hey, what are you gonna do with all this stuff? I don't know yet. I mean, I like the the organite print pyramid and the and the color, the blue and the lapis. This grid, flower grid, has a certain purpose. But nonetheless, these are also synchronicities that, for some reason, sometimes it's a matter of having the tools back to frequency. Having the tools at your disposal, when you're, when you're ready, when spirit timeline jumps you, all right, you go here now, the tools will be here. So if Metatron's like, pick up the, the platonic solids, pick up the organite, get your tarot cards, get your iPad out and start writing, I'm going to be ready. That's all I got. So lastly, all right, what is one of the biggest benefits to the Ormus? And this one was cool because like I said, it's a physical thing. You know, one can try to want a second guess intuition or oh, synchronicity. That's just a happenstance. That happens to everyone or you can't validate this and that, you know, but what I can validate is physical and I have physical proof. Um, so I'm either going to pop it here, probably over here. Um, and like I said, it's not gross, but I'm going to say right now, ding, 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 trigger warning is I'm going to put the picture in of, remember when I, um, I can't do oh, like that. When I got my ear pierced, just one hole, you know, it was pretty, you know, naturally it was blooded, blooded and, and wounded. So I'm going to put that picture there. Like I said, I did not put ormus on my ear, but I did clear it with, uh, excuse me, um, spritz it with salt. That's what the tattoo vendor recommended. That's all you need to heal is salt. So I think I just want to mention that because like I said, this Ormus does have a salty taste, but you're not drinking like ocean salt water. It's minerals. It's healing. It's healing to the body. So remember that. But nonetheless, I have been ingesting the Sphinx Ormus for weeks prior to getting the piercing put in. The very next day, like I expected it. To, I mean, I, and I and I do. And for me, I can say I do heal fast skin wise with punctures and wounds. But nonetheless, I had a freaking piercing put in that you don't just heal um, so the next day I expected it to be way less red, maybe a little pussy. But when I took a picture and I saw that all the redness was cleared up, I knew that was not just my natural healing ab ability. So that is a huge win. And like I said, y'all will see the picture. All right. Trigger warning over. Um, okay. So this has been a long video. Um, uh, but you know, real, like I said, we've been really talking about a lot of good information and really just kind of breaking down some of the good aspects of Sphinx Ormus that stands out. So let's end by talking about how does the company um, create this product. So like I said, their website is full and their website is www.monatomicgold.co.nz. Remember they're Kiwis from New Zealand and their product is coming from the Pacific Ocean. So there is obviously an alchemical process. They add in colloquial gold. Um, they talk, I let their blog is like eight or 10 pages of, when I say pages, I'm talking about like five or six articles in next page, five or six articles, next page, full of all types of Ormus good, goodness. They're on Instagram. Um, so check them out. But once they go through the alchemical process to actually get the, the Ormus into the liquid chemical, um, that is Ormus, 
Then they use seven methods of natural energy to supercharge a product, and I had to talk about them. So the first one is say, oh, wait a minute, hold on, let me pull up, you know, at my um, iPad because I want to show y'all on the site. I didn't want to like do the screen share the whole time. Um, okay, so maybe I should actually read. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me read. Um, why is our product unique? I think we should talk a little bit. So it's made using the wet method from ancient alchemist recipes using the filtered seawater off the pristine waters of the Pacific Ocean in Australia just before the full moon on a rising tide with love and intent. You know, this one, I'm sorry, I already know right now. Spirit was like, you needed to read this so that they know. Because I think, let's talk about, I've uh, been doing so many videos, it's a blur. Yes, I talked about it in the unboxing when I unboxed. Um, if y'all haven't seen that, I unboxed the Ancient Herbal Oracle. Great deck. 10 out of 10. I talked about the energy supply chain and why I don't like to buy a lot of spiritual products on Amazon. Because as it goes from hand to hand. First of all, what is the vibe of Amazon? I mean, first of all, Amazon does a lot of great things. I love their books. And if you live in the middle of nowhere, it might be the only way you can get things. But shopping like putting like this the energy of shopping on amazon is different versus going to a mom and pop esoteric shop for some crystals or a tarot deck it just is you know same thing my my life coach she put me on to this when she was trying to help me manage ordering out all the time she's like think about it the chef's in a bad mood he's cooking your food touching your food if the server who's ever plating it up's in a bad mood the driver uber driver what if they just had some people in their car who were pissed off and then, you know, that your foods is sitting around and then they drop it off to you. It's like, you know, you need to cleanse everything. So I say all that to say that energy supply chain matters as to where we get things from. You know, is the, is the vendor, the integrity of the vendor, the integrity of the delivery process. You know, I mean, nine out of ten things coming to you, given how the world is, you need to cleanse them. You know, whether it's <laughs> alcohol spray or some salt or a selenite wine for my spirit folks. Just kind of keep that in mind. Energy supply chain. So, very cool. So, they use the wet method right before the full moon. And if anyone doesn't know the full moon does what? Cause the tides to rise. So, we got rowdy, rowdy, rowdy full moon ormus. I'm with it. Um, cause that would be interesting to see, you know, how would Ormus, how would the energy behind the Ormus subtly change if you went with a new moon? This, this, this is an experiment to see. So, um, all right, I'm just going to read it right here. So they harmon harmonically imprint the liquid with 528 megahertz, which is the frequency of love and DNA repair. The miracle tone, the own... Um, you know, and I've seen this with other Ormus vendors. Like, you know, once they got get the liquid together, they put it in the room. They play the solfeggio music. There's other different things that they do to charge it up. Um, so they place large copper triskelions under our stock, which are copper coils formed in the... Oh, my goodness. We didn't, y'all, we didn't walk into a synchronicity. Hold on. Let me finish my, my sentence. <laughs> which are copper coils formed into triple spirals of sacred geometry that are cut at sacred Egyptian cubit length that emit 144 megahertz and is also known to structure liquid. Ooh, I did not know. Oh, how can I explain structure liquid? Um, y'all look that up, y'all. Structure liquid just from being near. I mean, it has energy in it to pull it into a shape. So, I'm just like laughing. So, first of all, the copper tris triskelions, that's these. Ooh, and that is so blinded. Wait a minute, let me move the light. Why can't these show up? Oh, there you go. Oh. There we go. I mean, you can see. Yeah, copper triskelions. Cut in a lamp to create the vibration of 144 megahertz. So why am I over here cackling? What did I get done? My, I put in a triple. Oh, maybe y'all can't see. I put in a triple helix. And for me, it represents the triple goddess. But what did, what, what have I been just testing and, and ingesting here? What did they say they, that they do that they, um, wait a minute. Sorry, I lost my place here. Copper coils formed in a triple spiral. See, I mean, I think that, like, spirit is, like, doing this on purpose. It's like, all right, y'all not going to, like, 
not believe her points. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a lot of synchronicity <laughs> on the video <laughs> so that y'all can know that the Sphinx Ormus is like that. I ain't do that by design. Like, seriously. Like, I just, yeah, that's like, I'm over here just like, all right, give me a moment. Give me a moment. So, so the Triskelions create bioelectrical and biomagnetic energy flow based off mathematics and sacred ge geometry. The Triskelions structure the water and they augment the energy from the ocean that charges the salts and these salts carry memory energy. Don't forget, there's a whole book out there about how when you speak to liquid, it changes the shape of the crystals. You like yell at it, curse at it. It's all like, eh. But if you say, I love you, I love you, water. Like, I love lamp. I love water. It's all like, like snow, like, eh like a star shape like yes i love you drink me you know but i'm joking but it's legit a real a real study i think by a japanese scientist so remember i mean and they talk about dna dna carries the most memory because it goes through our whole lineage our whole entire freaking talk about ancestors is in the dna legit <laughs> legit so and when you're really working on deep change, like sometimes when we're healing from addictions, when we're healing from limited beliefs, when we're healing from repeated um, sabotaging behaviors, sometimes we're healing, we're moving, we could say epigenetics. That's seven lines of, D of DNA, seven, seven generations at a time. Where if you had a kid, the DNA would just be a little bit more tweaked because you just move, move some generational energy. So that's why they said, sorry, I keep losing my freaking point. Um, yes, carries memory and energy. A lot of things carry memory and energy. Um, if you know anything about uh, som somatic um, illness, when the doctor says nothing wrong with you, but your emotions and your trauma have got you so unwell, the body keeps the score. That's all about somatic energy patterns, making you, you can't process the situation. You get sick in the body. Disease is disease is nothing but disease. And sometimes sickness starts with emotional unwellness. So you gotta learn how to reprogram and heal. So let me see here. So not only does the Triskelion structure the water, but it augments, oh yeah, we said we augments the energy of the ocean. This brings greater flow and energy and super con conductivity to the Ormus and helps the water stay structured for a longer, longer time in the hexagonal state. Okay, so this is how they use the sacred um, ge geometry. Um, they put mats. They kind of have a picture. Oh, Hold on, is this Metatron? Wait a minute. I think we didn't watch this one other synchronicity. Can y'all see? Yeah, that's. Oh, we place our stock in the, hold on, in the eye and place and energize. Oh, so they made a grid and then I guess they put the product. These crystals get placed out in the full moon. So they give you a lot of background on what they do. Yep, Metatron's cute. Ding, ding, ding. That's synchronicity. Because it could have been any shape. It could have been like, look, there's another sacred geometry. This is the flower of life. It could have been that pattern. No, it's Metatron's cube. Just saying. Um, so these processes have an impact and structure on the energy of the liquid. Um, oh, I didn't even talk about this one. So I'm glad I'm going through this. We supply each um, bottle in cobalt blue. There's a reason for that, which is known to raise the vibration from the violent color spectrum. They have an article, Secret of the Cobalt Blue Glass. Um, oh, so they actually considered to be a, pa a pale purple color. I think that's more. I, what did I say? Lavender pink? <laughs> um, let me see. Okay, let me go back to my list here on my notes. So we've covered. Okay, so the seven methods of natural energy they use to supercharge the product. Sacred geometry. Crystals. The cobalt blue blue glass from the violent color spectrum, the Egyptian copper triskelions, the magnetic magnetic energy of 144 megahertz, and the, and the triple got that. Intentions they talked about how they harvest the water with love and intent, and clearly, first of all, intentions 
they give you a rose quartz in the bottom that every package comes with love. So their intentions are very clear. They gifted me a bag. Um, you know, so I think intent is all over. Um, this from the product man from the product page and just intuitively. Um, you know, it's a company that cares. Uh let's see. Uh so that's five. Six is they charge it at 528, which is the love frequency and the DNA. I think they have a little um wait a minute, a section on that. Oh, and I'm sorry if I'm repeating it, but let's just, so they imprint the liquid with 528, the frequency of love and DNA repair, the miracle tone. Um, and they list, or they just are, I remember reading this part. They just started using the own for the frequency of creation as well. Um, so that's six. And then seven, the vortex water. So the vortex is the structured water with the spin based on the Triskelions. Actually, man, I wish I kind of had some of these. So you trying to tell me if I put water on top, is this going to have it? Like, I'm talk about what I'm going to be Googling later. Um. All right, let me check my outline. But uh, the thing is, so I'm not going to really go into a six-year recap because, one, I've kind of sprinkled that out throughout the whole video. Uh, and I think I told y'all the, you know, my only two qualms... Two qualms. So not having a dropper. Uh, what well, I said the other one was. Oh, um, having dosage instructions. But other than that, this product is amazing. Like I'm, I'm glad it. Oh my god, I didn't even tell you how to price. Jesus, I'm actually gonna type that in. Um, cause this video I did not record pre. Uh, I did not record live. So it's eighty eight dollars. Um, eighty eight dollars in stock. And monatomicgold.co.nz. So um, again, it's a I like this term. It's a alchemy potent organic trace mineral elixir derived from colloquial sea minerals from Australia specific oceans, and we know that it was harvested um, around the time of the full moon. So that is the end of the video. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend if you are ready to supercharge your current awakening. Because I really would be interested to see. Like, you know, I don't know if, if Sphinx Ormus, they seen, they don't have a whole lot of social media. They have a lot of a lot of articles on their on their blog, but they seem like they're a new company. So let's go ahead and support them because I would love for others to chime in and let me know what spiritual experiences you all have with Sphinx Ormus. And again, thank you to the Kiwi crew for, oh, and this FYI, so they ship from New Zealand to America. I'm here on the East Coast. I got the product quicker um, now the dream didn't tell me that, but, and it actually didn't say when they shipped it. So I kind of expected a month. So I'm going to say it came within probably two, two weeks, maybe three weeks max. So it wasn't like it didn't get stuck in customs and anything like anything like that. So thank you to the Kiwi crew. I appreciate these Sphinx Ormus. It's been a beautiful, beautiful experience. I look forward to, like I said, I still got uh, a lot left in my bottle, but I do like to take baths a lot. So like I said, I'm definitely going to be ordering me another bottle, maybe two, one for the bath, one for the elevations. All right, y'all, this is Digital Shaman. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out my other Ormus videos, my other Ormus experience videos. Be sure to like, subscribe for the channel for more content. Peace.